Welcome to the video. Hey, what's up? Thomas here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about networking and why it's important, why you should do it, things that I've found helpful, uh, and all of those sorts of things. So, this is a direct question from someone, and I just want to answer that person and take you all on the ride. So, my name is Thomas. I work in film. I'm a freelancer. I've been freelancing for about seven, eight years. But I've always had a good amount of friends. Uh, the, usually, whenever I go to a party, I end up with about half of those people having my phone number or vice versa, Instagram, whatever, what have you, you know? And I want to share some of my secrets that I've used and <laughs> some things that I've found really helpful. And you might ask yourself, well, I don't care. Like, I'm happy with my friends that I already have. That's great. I'm happy with all of my friends that I have too. But sometimes there's some people that if you're at a party, they really actually want to hang out with you. Um, there's one of my friends that I am, like, really close with now. I've had, like, amazing experiences with him. Um, we text each other, like, in the morning and everything. And I met him through networking. So, when some people think networking, they think events, they think that, like, they're, like, going to places with, like, a name tag. Take the pressure off yourself. Networking can be someone on the bus next to you. It can be, you know, your friend's friend that, like, you've seen around, but you, like, know they're kind of cool, but you haven't gotten to know them, like, too closely. And so, I want to encourage you to reach out to three people today. You, just someone out of your immediate circle, someone that you don't typically talk to. You. And what I want to encourage you to do is to just give them, like text them a meme or something. Just text them. Just send them a text. It can be on Instagram. It can be on Twitter. Just send out three memes. Try and make the other person laugh. So I've found that when you're meeting people that I... Don't try and, like, take energy from anyone. And without getting into, like, energy and mystics, it's just, like, if you were someone and someone was walking up to you, like, if I texted you right now and I just texted you some weird, like, spaghetti meme or whatever, like, <laughs> like, are you going to be mad about it? Like, most likely you're going to be like, oh, cool. It's kind of weird. I guess he was thinking about me. And Thanks. You know, or I don't say anything. And that's, that's like the worst thing that typically happens if I'm like networking. And so f for me, I'm just kind of, I don't take like a networking mindset. I don't take like a framework of like, oh, I got to go to this party and I have to like meet people. I have to say hi. I have to do this, that, or the other. I kind of put myself in a mindset of just like being open being open to making new friends, being open to meeting cool people. And that has, like, served me really, really well. Uh, to jump back, uh, my friend John, uh, we met, I was actually at work, and he was catering. So I was, like, filming something nearby, and he was, like, part of the catering thing. And he was like, oh, hey, you, you film? And I remember being, like, sketched out, actually. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm, like, at work right now. He's like, yo, we should hang out sometime. And I was like, e e sure. Like, I, I was just, like, too focused, like, on working, and I wasn't, like, actually, he was like, yeah, 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 like, let's hook up, like, what's your phone number, or whatever, and so I remember we exchanged Facebook, and it wasn't that he was creeping me out, it was just that I was, like, so focused on work, and, like, I was trying to do, like, something that I, he, like, he wasn't in my immediate crew that I was, like, oh, uh, sure, like, sure, whatever, and then I, I remembered... In like about a year later, he posted something on Facebook where he posted a video of himself doing like some weird prank thing where uh, <laughs> it's really great. Uh, maybe I can post the link down below or something. But um, I remember just being like, oh, yeah, that guy. Oh, he's like that. Oh, that's why he wanted to hang out because he was like working and catering and like he was just seeing how we were all, like, communicating with each other, and he was like, oh, that guy's funny like me. And so now we, whenever we hang out, we have, like, such a blast. But I wouldn't have made that friendship if we didn't 
connect at all or if I was like no I don't want to give you my number I don't want to give you my personal information or whatever so for me one thing that's helped is just being open to new experiences open to meeting new people open to connecting on Facebook I mean worst case scenario you can block them you block your phone like their phone number um I am lucky enough to be a strapping young gentleman and I know a lot of people don't give out their phone numbers because of negative experiences. Somebody that, you know, contacts them too often and like this, that, and the other thing. But personally, I've never run into that. And I feel like those experiences are like something to be aware of. Like if somebody's like contacting you too much, you just be like, Hey, I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> um, but that's another video. I'm talking just about networking in the positive sense. So when you're a freelancer, network, your 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 bank account is pretty much tied to your network. <laughs> I feel like a lot of jobs, like the more, like networking has never not helped me. And I've never seen a way that networking would be a bad thing. I think that some people... Um, their network is just like pretty like closed circle and they have like a tight knit like circle of like cool people that they definitely get along along with and everything. But I'm kind of known for just getting people's information, getting their email, Facebook, whatever, because I just have like a bunch of like, like I'm not going to run out of space in my phone, you know, so why not? And when I get that phone number, it's not so I have it when I'm like, ah, I have the number. It's so, I'm like, okay, I'm going to remember one thing about this person and what they do. And maybe somewhere down the line, I can hook them up with a job. Or maybe there's an opportunity from them. I mean, I, I was at a party once and somebody was like, oh, I own a forklift company. Like, you should come and work for my company. And I was like, hey, thanks for the offer, but I'm, that's not my business. And he was like, well, I'll just take my number anyway. So, I remember that at least <laughs> if, if I know someone that's forklift certified or something, I'm going to hit up Joe. Like, I just have, so so here's another good thing about um, networking, is the people that you want to meet, people that you want to have in your life, people that you want to have in your loose network, you know, you, you can have a closed circle network, and then like, like your core network of people that you work with, people that you connect with a lot, and then you can have like, some people that you kind of hang out with, and then people that you just like, kind of have their phone number, or whatever. That, that's how I kind of like to look at it, of like, oh, okay, here's like my close circle of friends, here's some mediary, here's some people that I just like, I met once at a party, but I have their number, and I remember one thing about them. And so, something when I'm like networking with people and meeting people, is I always try and remember one or two things about them, something that they like, some something of their interest. And like I said earlier, if I get their phone number... I try and remember one thing about them of like, right, that person works at a forklift thing or that person really likes stuffed animals. And I like to do that because I really, for me, I'm really passionate about connecting people. Like you have a hammer and you have a nail and you guys need to like work together. I like to connect two people together. Like it doesn't even have to profit me. I just really love being the one that could be like, oh, hey. Uh, I remember you were talking about that one thing. I know somebody that actually has that one thing. Can I connect you? Is that cool? And people always love that. There's no reason that uh, anyone would be like, oh, why, why are you trying to get me work? What, what's the matter with you? Why would you try and do that? You know, and for me, it just brings me great joy that I can connect some people uh, either artistically or financially or anything like that. Like, I just think it's great. So I have a wide variety of uh, phone numbers and names and my phones and my email address. And I, I seriously just love hooking people up with each other. And um, I, I, if I could play matchmaker, I would, you know? Like, I love that type of stuff. Um, I think that's one... Those are some advices of what I would have to say. I would have to say, you know, for me, contacting people that I haven't contacted in a while. Just shoot them a text. Just say, hey, what's up? Hey, I hope you're doing great. Hey, you know, here's a meme. Uh, was thinking about you. Hey, I saw this weird YouTube video and they gave me this challenge. <laughs> uh, 
And what that does is sometimes there's people that are in, like, your outer network that, like, you just haven't connected enough or found your connection. You know, there's some people where I've met them at a party and I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? And then we, like, kind of don't talk. And then I see them at another party and I'm like, oh, you like Godzilla too? Oh. And then we end up talking about Godzilla and it's like, oh, I just didn't find the common interest. So sometimes I look at things like that where... If I make a connection with somebody, it might not be a really tight connection, but, you know, just put it out there, you know? Uh, so, one is stay in contact with people that you may not contact regularly. And that, what that does is, that's work wonders. I love doing that. I think trying to be closer to people in my less immediate network, I love doing stuff like that. Um, I have one person of mine, I'm like, oh, I should text that person right now. Uh, two is just being open to connecting with people. No matter where you're at, if you're at the grocery store, if you are, you know, changing a diaper in the bathroom or something. Like, <laughs> I don't know, changing the trash. Um, maybe maybe you and the trash guy has like you can watch a football game together. Um, so being open to people, contacting people you don't contact that often. And then also, what's, what's another one? I'm, I'm sure there's more. Um, if you can think of any, leave a comment down below, and if you want me to shoot more videos of how I do things, just let me know. Uh, and if you want to be part of my network, subscribe to this YouTube channel, ring the bell, uh, I've been trying to upload at least once a week, and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>